So today we decided to go on the Segway Mini Pro. It's the first PEV that I ever rode on, and it's very cool. And from that I moved on to scooters and the one wheel. But this was my first vehicle. The only bad thing about it is it only goes 10 miles an hour. And I weigh about 185, so it goes about, I have about 13 miles of range on it. But where I live, it's uphill and downhill. So that could fluctuate depending on the route I go. So I just went on a long one-wheel trip with some friends of mine through the woods and on trails. And now my one wheel is charging up and I decided to go for a uh, ride on the Mini Pro, which I haven't been on in probably six months. So I'm a little rusty, but enjoy the ride. As usual, I got my pro heads on for grip. much more controllable than the one wheel. When I get used to it, I can stop on a dime. One wheel. It has Rusty on this. I haven't been on it in six months. I've been riding the one wheel and I'm completely used to the one wheel. It's hopefully, you can tell from my other videos. So, bear with me as I learn to ride this. Very windy day. Now, normally on my one wheel, 
I call this Alligator Hill. Because if you go the wrong way, you're going to end up in that pond full of alligators over there. But I go, I don't know if the camera reflects it, but I go down the hill on my one wheel, and then I usually go all the way around, like that girl's doing. This time I'm going to stay on the sidewalk. Luckily, I was able to bail and run out of it. You practice stopping. Okay. She said, "Young man behind me." <laughs> Hey. practicing stopping again. I really got to remember how to, I used to be able to stop on a dime. Then on this thing you could turn on a dime. So you can see it's not a special effect. Heading that way. Okay, bye. No, you're for peace and quiet. I can't for peace and quiet. But this is a nice uh, part to go on. For me to relearn this, let me try stopping again. I don't know if you can see that, but you lean back and you lean forward and it goes. I get a view over here. You lean back and it goes back. You lean forward and it goes forward. That's how you stop.
does have 10 inch wheels. actually feeling more and more cooler the more I ride it. Like I said, over the summer I probably put on 400 miles. 100 on this one, but I had another one that put 300 miles on. And then I traded that in with my pint when I bought my XR, my one wheel XR. That's how I did it. But I made sure I kept one of these mini pros because I remember them being so fun. And like I said, it was my first PEV. If you hear it starting beeping, that means I'm, I just hit 10 miles an hour, so then I get the pushback. And this isn't like pushback on a one wheel, that's subtle. This is a heavy push, heavy duty pushback where your feet are up like this. It's ridiculous. The cool thing about it is there's a, uh, a board that's out there that you can install on it to make it go 16 miles an hour. And if you go to Duff's channel, that's D-U-F, he has a video of how to install that board. And he told me it was relatively easy to do. So if I get back to riding this again, which I might do, it's seems like it's pretty fun. And the cool thing about it is, unlike the one wheel, when you face forward, you're riding. So you don't have any blind spots on the left or the right of you. It's akin to riding in an electric unicycle, also known as EUCs. Which I may be getting soon too. But this is a cool run so far. For those of you who are buried in snow, here's some tropical birds coming up. Let's say hi to them. Hey guys. You probably remember them from another one of my videos. For the one wheel. Entitled Half Night to Curb Trucks. So I just got a call from my wife. She wants to be in the video. It's very photogenic.
this walk backwards. You have to trust it. If I remember correctly. 